Alicia San Luis. Are you time travelers? I hear you're learning all about animals today. We actually have some animals in the church too. Oh, not live animals. We actually have animals in our paintings. Come on, I'll show you. These are religious paintings and they teach us lessons from the Bible and show important figures in the Catholic religion. This is how the friar or priest teaches the villagers of Mission San Luis the lessons of the Bible, even if we can't read it. Many cultures, like we Spanish Catholics and the Apalachee Indians who built Mission San Luis, use certain animals as religious or spiritual symbols. In the Catholic faith in the 1600s, some animals are used in paintings to represent prominent religious figures like Jesus, God, or the Holy Spirit. Many Spanish artists frequently use animals as a form of symbolism to represent these important figures in their art. You can even see some of these examples here at Mission San Luis. Now let's take a look at some of the artwork hanging up around the church and we'll see if you can test your eye and spot the animal and we can learn what these animals represent. Now this painting above me in the choir loft contains an animal, but first can you tell me who the person is? That's right, it's St. Francis of Assisi. He's the founder of the Catholic Order of the Franciscan Friars, who built many of the missions here in La Florida. The Franciscan Friars even established the church here at Mission San Luis. St. Francis, who lived in the 12th century, is the patron saint of animals, and he believed that all animals should be treated with dignity and respect. Because of this, his paintings often include animals. So now we know who the person in the painting is, but can you spot the animal? Great, did you spot the fuzzy creature lying next to his left foot? That's a lamb. Here in the 1600s, the white color of the lamb's wool represents the attributes of innocence, purity, and vulnerability. Artists sometimes paint lambs in the paintings to symbolize Jesus Christ, who Catholics believe is a sacrificial lamb that died for the sins of humanity. Let's try another one. This piece hanging over our baptismal font is called The Baptism of Christ by John the Baptist. Now, can you find the animal in this piece? Great job, you found the dove. The dove is a white bird that is often depicted in the Catholic Church as flying gracefully before a shining aura of light. If it is depicted with a halo above its head, it is the symbol of the Holy Spirit. It also symbolizes God's grace. The dove is one of the most prominent religious symbols in Catholic art. It's actually a very old symbol of the Christian religion. You can see another example of the dove in artwork in this painting here. This painting is called the Archangel Raphael. Can you find the animal in this painting? It's a little tricky. I'll give you a hint. The animal lives in the sea. That's right, you found the fish. In the Catholic faith, Raphael is said to be the angel of healing and the guardian of pilgrims on their journey. A pilgrim is someone who goes on a long journey or pilgrimage to a religious or sacred place. Raphael is often depicted holding or standing on a fish. This refers to his healing of the eyes of Tobit from the book of Tobit with the gallbladder of a fish. In addition to referring to the tale of Raphael, painters have also painted fish in religious art throughout the 1500s and the 1600s to symbolize Christ or Christianity. The symbol of the fish in Christianity involves an acronym or a shortened word formed from the initial letters of another word. The acronym we're speaking of comes from the initial letters of the Latin words for Jesus Christ. To understand this symbol, you need to know the meaning of the acronym. The Greek word for fish is ichthus, which early Christians used as an acronym for Jesus. The acronym was based on the Latin phrase, Jesus Christos Theo Eos Soter, which translates into English to Jesus Christ, Son of God, Savior. In the early church, Christians would use the fish symbol as a secret sign symbolizing to others that they were followers of the Christian faith. One person would draw the arc of the fish, and if the other person was also a Christian, they would draw the other arc. 
Anyone who is not a Christian would not recognize the symbol and so would not complete the image of the fish. Great job, everyone. I hope you enjoyed our little game of spot the animal and learned a little bit about the symbolism behind the lovely creatures in Christian artwork. Now, please go and enjoy all the animals around you every day, and we'll see you soon. Adios.